Hi, welcome back to the Monday Minute, where we share tips and tricks on how to make your SendSource people counting solution the best that it can be. It's hard to believe we're entering the holiday season already, so what we want to do is take a look at three different useful foot traffic reports for you to review as the year comes to a close. Let's get started. One of AIA's best features are the pre-configured widgets that continue to give you crucial information as data is collected. Let's hop in and take a look. It's a really straightforward widget, uh, but for example, a 2021 versus 2022 comparison uh, it gives you immediate insight on how you are performing compared to last year. So it, it's really easy to add. If you go to this button here, this widget can be added by clicking the Add Widget button, selecting Comparison, and then configuring the widget to compare year versus year, whatever years you choose. Again, not super complicated, but a really good way to see that information quickly. Veya's day hour heat maps are a highly visual way to consume quite a bit of your foot traffic data in a small amount of time. One ideal end of year report is a year to date average max occupancy by hour but checking it out in the form of a heat map. Sounds a little bit wordy, so what does that mean? So what it does is it takes a look at what your max occupancy is by hour, and then averages that out across an entire year. So that helps you with uh, scheduling for the coming year, not only just in terms of hours of operation, but also with your staff. Knowing exactly what the busiest times are by day across an entire year is a really useful tool. And it's super easy to generate, check it out. You just simply navigate to Veya, click on data views, and then heat map. For a much more detailed explanation about our heat map, check out the link in the description. We have a whole video dedicated just to that. While not as visually appealing as, say, the heat map or a widget on a dashboard, the data grid option in VEA is an ideal way to consume your foot traffic data if you're really comfortable working in Excel. It has your columns, it has your rows, it allows you to pull in your data and go to work on it, manipulate it, run your own reports, create your own charts, really get a good idea of your performance but in that data grid view. A last year by month report in a data grid view is a really good way to examine your yearly performance. It breaks it down by month to allow you to compare, say, June to July, or maybe July of 2022 to July of 2021, or let's say you ran a special promotion for Valentine's Day and you want to check out that performance in February. It's a really easy way to take a look at your yearly performance. But again, the best part about the data grid is it allows you to manipulate that data run some different reports that might not be in VEA, and allow you to really get a sense of your performance over the year. Super, super easy to set up. Let's check it out. If you go into VEA and navigate to, again to data views and then to the data grid, it allows you to set your parameters and the report will run. What's really nice about it is you can go to this button up here and it allows you to export it to the CSV or the Excel file that might be a little bit easier to work with. We hope you found this tutorial useful. We know it's a very busy time of year, but we don't want you to forget about that useful data that resides in VEA and that can be easily accessed to help you make decisions to gear up for 2023. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming tips and tricks from SenseSource. Happy Holidays!